Baton twirling is serious business to the kids who are participating in the national championships this week in scope. The competitors come in all shapes, sizes, and costumes. Some are very, very good. And some are not. The twirlers compete in various categories for scholarships and prizes. Today was the dance twirl competition. We judge on the content of the routine, the material in the routine, and the execution of the routine, how they do it, what kind of technique they have when they do it. When the kids aren't on the floor being judged, they practice in the halls all throughout scope. Like 10 and a half year old Donna Crane from San Jose, California. She's been twirling for four years and says it isn't that hard if you practice. Well, once you get used to it, it's not that bad. But, you know, you have to work at it a long time. What do you think when you drop the baton? I think, oh boy. <laughs> well, it, it depends. Like if it's in solo, I don't think, it's just a hard trick. I think, well, at least I dropped a hard trick. At least it's not a waist drop or a whip or something. Twirling a baton may look simple, but actually it takes hours and hours of practice. But with a little luck and hours and hours of hard work, you can actually become quite proficient at twirling batons. Mike Deason, Area 10 Eyewitness News at the Grand National Baton Twirling Championships.